Okay. We're live, I think. You think are we live? Are we live? I think we're live. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm sorry. Griff, we have the best jokes as always. Love that. And yes, Bonnie, you were indeed first. Congratulations. And we are indeed live. And hey, babe. Okay. Where are we at? Basically, I'm just going to continue this as episode 9. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, babe. Um, <laughs> is this you trying to find a different way of giving me money because I always say no? Hmm. Uh... Anyway, what was I saying? That's what I was saying. I think we're going to continue on along the same vein of what we were talking about last time. Also, I do apologize in advance. I am ill. So if I do cough, etc. I apologize profusely. I can't control it. Wish I could. But yes. What is it we were doing? We were talking about Dusk Elves. Dusk Elves, their relationship with Dawn Elves. We created a new sub-race called the Fallen Elves, or the Lightless Ones. They're gonna be fun. And where we left off last time, we were still talking about... Definitely because I <laughs> didn't want ads. That's another good reason. If you do subscribe, you won't get ads. Anyway, um... We were still talking about translations, and we were talking about city names where we left off last time. I think is probably where we'll start this time. I don't know what I have, Griff. I, my body's response to stress is to get ill. I've had a very stressful couple of weeks. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just, I just am ill. I, I, I may, I have mild asthma as well. So, that fucks with my system whenever I get like a cold, I cough a lot. It's, it's not nice. But hey, that's just life. And we live. We live and we move on. And exist. But yes, we still have a bunch of names of places we need to get. Just the towns. Um, we'll go back through and do villages at some point. This is also something I want to draw a name to. If you have helped, obviously, in any way, shape, or form, in general, your stuff will be on here. Except I still need to add you, Griff, so we're going to add you right now. Because this is a thing that I do, and a website that I run, that I'm supposed to stay on top of and don't. Um, hmm, don't question it. We're gonna add a griff. Everyone that wants this list. There you go, griff. So if you now go on here, your name is on there. That's 20 people now. Is asking yourself and getting ill does go hand in hand? Yeah, I know it does. It sucks. Anyway, point is, if you want to go on the Calabria website, go on to the thank you page. It is up there. You can easily see those of you who've been involved in this project. And the list keeps growing, and I think that's really sweet. But yes, we were talking about names of places. We also said that we wanted each of the names of the locations, each of the names of the towns, etc. To have, to be in, like, the Elvish tongue, and that the translation would be something in common. So I think the capital, they wanted it to be something along the lines of Knight's Bastion, which if we're saying that Nochni Bedham is Knight's Fall, then Nochni would have to be the start of Knight's Bastion. But what is the word Bastion? Makes a change being on a list that isn't Crime Watch. God damn it, Griff. Stop breaking laws over there. But yes, if Nochni Bedham is Knight's Fall, then what would Knight's Bastion be? Nochni, obviously, we decided is the name for Knight or the Knights. Um, so what's what do we want? What do we want Bastion? What's kind of Elvish Cyrillic? Because that's kind of the vibe we've gone for in this stuff. Is uh, kind of yeah, <laughs> it's confusing. Um, We've, we've gone for a combination of Romance and Cyrillic, which is a very strange language format. Um, it's been working so far, so so we should probably try and stick with it. Uh, so we need a name for the, the capsule being Knight's Bastion. 
We just need a name for the Dusk Temple, unless we just want to call it the Dusk Temple, but that's probably the common tongue, but they will have a name for it itself. Um, what else are we gonna need? Towns and cities in general. They don't need to follow the same kind of thing. We can mix it up a little bit. Based on where they are would probably be easiest. Perfect! We're gonna need a bigger boat. Here we are. Anyway, um, right, so. Nochni Bedam, Knight's Fall. Which means Knight's Bastion being the capital needs to be Nochni something. Whatever that is. The Dusk Temple needs a name in Elvish. We then have one, two, three, four, five, six towns that we need to name as well in this area. This isn't even including villages and stuff. Villages and stuff, generic DMs can come up with those as they go. Slash, we can come up with them at some point at a future date. I don't know. For now, though, let's focus on bigger fish. And the bigger fish right now are these towns and cities. I'm at work, but I'm always watching and writing. Effect, if you're at work, is this, are you going to get in trouble for this? Um, also, guys, you can now get a new role in the roles section on the Discord, which is called the World Builder role, which you can grab, which means I can actually add the role to let people know when the stream is up, because right now I don't. So, oops. Um, so yeah, head over to roles and grab yourself the community's Calabria World Builder role. That'll also give you access to a couple of things down in the Calabria section. So yeah, do that as well. Adam literally just set that up, so thanks to Adam. Everyone say thanks, Adam. Um, leave that, don't need that. Okie dokie. What in lakes, is that still up? Yes. Is that you, Danny, or is this someone else? I'm very confused. It is Danny. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I forget your name. Your name's great, by the way, Danny. Never change it. <laughs> and also, thank you for the eight months up. I appreciate the eight months reset. What do we need names for? We need names for quite a few things. We need names for six towns, and we need to come up with the remainder of the Elvish for the capital. We said we wanted it to be the Knight's Bastion in translation, but we need a name for it. We, we, know, we know Knight is Nochni. We decided that when naming the mountain, but we need a name for what's Bastion going to be in the Elvish tongue. So obviously the, the, the capital in Elvish tongue is going to be called Nochni something, yeah. And we, we've gone kind of like a combination of out like a romance and Cyrillic. So. Do apologize, punching my mic back soon. Nochnigrad. I like that. Yeah. That's kind of Russian sounding, like Stalingrad. Anyway. The Dusk Temple will also need a name. In Elvish, unless the elves call it the Dusk Temple, but that seems a little bit strange. Yeah, I thought it was very Russian, yeah.
So I feel like the Dusk Temple doesn't need to be a direct translation for Elvish. It could be something like Place of Our Father or something similar along those lines. But just that the common people, the common tongue, calls it the Dusk Temple. Okay. I affect your brain amazes me. Ooh, if I can type. Can we assume then that this is what... Oh, is this a direct translation effect? Or are we doing... A roundabout translation? Okay. Um... We're just going to add a new section real quick, just for words and their meaning. Um, we're getting there. Uh, can be derivative, but let's not go into grammar. Yeah, no, these are like vague, these are basic translations. I get that, I get that. Yeah, so we've now got, we're starting an elvish language, that's fun. Um. So last time we were talking about the purity of faith, that's fine. Day of Fading Fire, yes, Solstice is night day cool um so we still need names for a lot of other cities um we said we wanted them to be like an elvish name and then a translation not necessarily in all of them but we can do it in a few of them and we could probably get a lot going there um they can just be elvish sounding and we can give them names later that's also a thing we can give the names meaning later Any higher. There we go. Yeah, being a problem effect. And Dusk Temple rename as well. So we then have multiple cities. This one's right on the border where the river intersects the Duskmoor and the uh, Dawn Empire, which I prefer. I don't know the name already. Dawn Vale, yes. So as we can see here, this is the border point we're interacting with at the moment. Ooh, River Thorn is a great name for the river, Griff. I like that name. like cacti a bit prickly well i mean the relationships between the races are certainly fucking prickly i tell you now
Capital is not any grad. I can space this a little bit more. Still make it work. Yeah, on the side of it. <laughs> no, the relationship between the race is very prickly. So that works really quite well, actually. So will this then have something to do with the, the derivative of Thorn, whatever Thorn is in the Elvish tongue? Given that they reside beside the River Thorn, which I'm presuming will also have an Elvish name, which we haven't decided yet. <laughs> We're just gonna slowly build a language to, you know, we've already built several custom races, custom species, custom creatures. Now we're just gonna also build a custom language because why not? God damn it, Griff, that joke. Okay, I think River... I'm just adding words here and there. People are welcome to say no to them. Uh, artful communication just reminds me of Burns Night. God damn it, Griff. Good word for Thornby in an elvish tongue. Vaguely Cyrillic. Okay, welcome back effect. We're just coming up with names of things. Welcome, Henry. Welcome, welcome. We're also just casually building a language slowly, so effect if you want to join us. <clears throat> Sounds like a castle in some weird Germanic twist. Yeah, no, like when we get onto the orcish area, I feel like that's going to be more entwined there. That could be a lot of fun, actually. Ooh. Um. <laughs> okay, so we need some names. So what is the... if? So we have a town, then, that's... Right on the bank of the Loch Lee Rochia, which is the um, river thorn that runs between the sides. Okay, stuff. Um, <clears throat> so what would we call this town then? If we want it to have meanings or translations, we can go with the English first and then translate it afterwards. 
If people are struggling to just straight up come up with fantasy names, sometimes that can be a good way of doing it if you are building a world. Um, it's what I tend to do. Example, what Griff just said, and then me translating it into something that sounds vaguely like a language. Yes, the snow and grassland, um, the, uh, the Jackarack of the primal forests. Yes, we have moved on from that area. We are now discussing the Dusk Elves of the Olovan Empire. The Olovan Empire, even. Olovan? Olovan? Olovan Empire. Get that right. Uh, and their relationship with the Dawn Elves of the Dawn Vale above, etc. Right now we're building an Elvish language, apparently because building races and creatures wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm joking, it's great. Uh, I mean, just to shout out of a load of nonsense and I convert it into Elvish, basically, yes. It's evening, so Nightingale derives from evening. Oh, I love that effect, god damn it. <laughs> this is going to be a river somewhere. Okay, um, let's derive that from that and that. Oh, that's even better. Okay, wait, so, wait, no. But then how does that become light nightingale? If that's, if, if that means, reject that sounds so much better. Um, if that means that, then what does... How do you get Nightingale from that? Oh my god. Here's one with the elves. Part of the skills of being under six foot, five foot six. Wait, elves are normally tall in video games. Give me a break. Um, Where do we want to put this river? I think maybe over here somewhere near the mountain. Or oh, actually, we shift this over to here. Does that make sense, right? Largest area, most conflict. And we're saying that it's kind of about horns being conflict. Is the map updated? Um, it is, I can show you at the end of the stream. Okay, so if we have that, we then have the region. Nightingale derives from evening. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it literate for common speakers. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it's not updated on the site at the moment. I need to update stuff on the site. Um.
Okay, we're getting that. We did Camaria, yes, we did com the Camarian conglomerate in the Scarus Peaks, and we also, well, the Scarus Peaks in general, we also did um, the Tepuegs, obviously, in the Vale Valley of the Unseen. We did the Jackarax of the Primal Forest. We then jumped over and did the, um, the Azra Druids of the uh, Wild Heart Conco Concord. Um, and the Redis Creedy? Yes. We've done a lot. Uh, I would say, how do you find time to work and build D&D games? Uh, yeah, the answer is I don't sleep. Um, yeah, I don't sleep much. I don't sleep much at all. And the reality is I don't have time. There aren't enough hours of the day, which is why I have Effect helping me write stuff now, which is lovely. Thank you, Effect, for helping me with stuff. Um, Yeah, we, we get through a lot every single episode, actually. It's quite impressive. Okay, so we're saying that this is then the Nightingale River. This one's then the River Thorn. Um, obviously, we have the Solus Lake in the middle. Nochni Bedham being the starting point of a lot of the water, etc. Um, that's fine. Oh, did you? I can't read. I need glasses. Um, so, what? yeah, okay. Town names, then. We've got a couple of area names down. We've got the main rivers. We also have some streams and more rivers down here that we need to think about. This is also a lake we're going to have to think about. It is a group thing. Most of this, this is a lot. We actually had um, we actually had a new viewer join us last time. Really chill guy, Twitchy. Um, he had some amazing ideas that he added to it, which was sweet. I've got Kirsty expanding on some of the stuff as well that people have been writing and sending us. Um, she's just helping, like, put it into digestible information. Because you guys have some crazy fucking ideas that we have to make actually work in a D&D system. I hope you realize how fucking hard that is. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, so slowly we're just building more and more. Like, you know, come give me some ideas, Henry. Just give me some ideas. Um, so we have the capital named. The capital being the Knights Bastion, Nochnigrad. We have the... Temple of Dusk, or sorry, the Dusk Temple, which is uh, Sumrak Haram. Uh, we then need a bunch of things. One of these mountains be a dormant volcano? I mean, technically they could be. Right now, we already have the god of dawn and the goddess of dusk rising from this mountain and falling to this mountain every day. On stream, I play our randomness that works. Yeah, effect effect is just one of you guys, and on stream, it just blurts out shit. It's great. We love him. I am very ill. Yeah, it's not fun. Actually, no, I'm not as ill as I was the other day. I worked 12 hours shift, like, in really bad state. It was great. Don't do it. Don't recommend. Had to be there. Um, yeah, my voice sounds like shit. Anyway. I feel like Mountain Hold or something similar would make sense for this. Because we've said that, that Nochni Bedham is a point of contention, right? Between the uh, Dawn, uh, between the Olive Owen Empire and the Kingdom of Loon. Um, given that this is where the Dawn Mother and Dusk Father rise and fall right so i feel like this this whatever this town is called has to be something to be defensive right um also no i'm not doing um asmr today i will i will refund it if you do give it but i my voice will not i can't literally my voice is not gonna let it happen um i was losing my voice yesterday i'm not doing great you're not late milk you're barely late it's okay we forgive you Um, cool. So I think this town is probably 
I'm gonna say it's like Knight's Bastion, maybe. Not Bastion, because we have Knight's Bastion. I feel like it's like Mountain Shield or something in direct translation. We don't actually have a name for mountain. We don't have a word for mountain yet. So what is mountain going to be? And what would shield be in Elvish? Late bros, let's go, yeah. A lot of people have been late. It's cool. And welcome, Azzy. A volcano can work with the symbolism of rise and fall. A dormant volcano contains light powerful enough to match of a dawn, yet sleeps a deceased as the Dusk Father. Oh, I like that, yeah. The super volcano lays in the divide, keeping both elven folk safe. Mountains hot. Ooh, I like that. Harsh. I like that as well. Hold on. Oh my god. Is it defensive? Um. <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, so we're gonna say that the, uh, if we say that then. The mountain, Nochni Bedum. This is all about lunar eclipses. Let's, uh, and one like that. Nochni Bedum. So the light inside, like the magma inside is almost like the soul of the Dawn Mother, right? And her place of rest. Whilst the rock keeping it in. Is this like. Uh, what's the word thing? Hands of. Let's just say the hands. This is the way it can be kept. Of the Dusk Father. But also you have like life and everything. Uh, Piggy has defense score plus five backstab mountain. Uh, I suggest Mog mountain message didn't go through. In folklore, sure, the volcano can be um, this folklore about the cycle siblings unity. Yeah, so this is where they they come to protect each other. Oh, that's actually that could be really fun to talk about because Obviously the siblings don't like they don't get on they fight like siblings do but they do ultimately Love each other and want to protect each other. So The dusk father's hands that or they call the hands of the dusk father the rock that encases this dormant volcano and that encases the soul of the dawn mother is not just about protecting the people beyond and it's also about protecting the soul yeah so it's like a protecting each other thing Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Dusk Father protects the Dawn Mother's soul. While also protecting his subjects from the wrath of the Dawn Mother. Well, that's really cute, actually, now. The siblings are obviously chaotic beings, but they're very siblingy. <laughs> um, okay, so and Haj is the name of the shield. And mountain. What was it you said effect a minute ago? He 
You brought up the volcano, I brought in randomness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Henry did bring up a volcano and effect just made it make sense and made it make sense law wise too in the world. Thank you. Mog seems more like orcish in speak. I'm gonna note that down for future reference. Um Yeah, no, I'm gonna note that down further down as like a for future reference thing. Because Morg is very a heart like a very guttural thing, which sounds very orcish in speech. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the orcish name for a mountain, 100 percent Because we are do, we do need to go to our to Artog at some point. Artog is the uh Oh, brain. Artog is the orcish um slash goblin y slash like kind of quote unquote monstrous races area. That's definitely gonna go there. Um, we're not calling it something that spews. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Henry, I love you, buddy. That's ouch. Oh, for for orc? Yeah, okay, but we'll do orc later. Henry, come back on the Artog episode. We will definitely use these. <laughs> Some like, did you forget to tame the volcano again? Be a good brother and help sister. <laughs> Fuck you too, yeah I did, fine. <laughs> Barrage for mountain, ooh, Danny, I like that. So then I think we'll go with... North of North. South. Oh, fucking. See, it's, names like this is why we need to have the fucking read me voice translations and notes on the website, which we're making. Fuck me. Like. <laughs> I am still down to see if these later. Yes, milk. Um, okay, what else have we got? So that's the that's the mountain shield, which is Orod Tanaj, which is the name of this town. We have Knights Bastion, Nochnigrad, which is the capital. We have uh, Sumra Karam, which is the Dusk Temple here on Nochni Bedam, which is on a waterfall, apparently. Um, we, we literally... Oh my god, I am going to need to make something like that, Henry. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to do it. Um... Okay, then we've got what else have we got? Uh, okay, so what about this area over here? Let's 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 go down to some smaller towns, shall we? This very dramatic music. I'm probably gonna change. I just opened Switch all by accident. We're just gonna ignore that. Back off. No. Oh. Um. Two two. Wild and crazy. Let's go from here. Uh, might have a four already, but slow opens up. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, what about this large town at this crossroads? Again, if we think of the English, what we want to call it in quote unquote common first, then we can translate it afterwards. What are we thinking in terms of basically a, it's a joining point between, well, a, like a lot of places. So maybe something to do with a crossroads would be my suggestion. No, Henry. That is just gonna make people laugh for no reason. Let's not do that. <laughs> That's why. It's on a river too, so you could hyphenate the name. That is a good idea. 
Oh, I like that. When we're when it's on a river, we hyphenate in because this is also on a river. I like that. Only if you have mind your gut. Either. Yeah, most people have their mind in the gut, road, Henry. Unfortunately, we have to take that into account when world building. Trust me, I've had to do it so many times. Um, let her know. I actually kind of like that effect. What, what are we gonna? What is that gonna mean, though? In common tongue. the road split on a river splitting river yeah you know what that's a good fucking idea milk i like that you're casually doing your job in finance while while building i respect that i like milk's idea as well so so we're gonna say that if something is split or splitting so again we're gonna take derivatives here that it's ladina uh ladina ladana ladana no. uh, i'm gonna word on that um and then if something oh in that case if it's a river then it would be Ladana Rzeka. Unless we're talking about a derivative form of river. So river is in water. The water itself is Rzeka. And then... Okay, this is where things get confusing in language. Um, And then Pukatina's the land by a river. See, this this is where we literally slowly develop a language. Okay, cool. So like a river bank almost is like Pukatina. So this though would be just called splitting river, but derivative. We're literally casually inventing language. So I expect you to be fluent in this language by the end of this project, Saint. We're going to have basically created a language. The, the thing is, this is giving us just a few words that we can throw in places, right? Um, so this is just like words we can throw in. When you're, when you're DMing, when you're voicing different elves or whatever in the region, this gives you just things that you can just kind of drop in when they're speaking common, when they're trying to think of words or even when speaking to each other, it gives you a ground to understand the nature of this race's dialect. And that helps you as a DM properly convey that species and properly like act as that species, which I find quite helpful normally in my games. Oh, I kind of like that more though. Effect, stop giving me loads of ideas that I like more. Okay, so we'll go with that then. And we're gonna hyphenate it because it's on a river. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Uh, casually making a quick dictionary. I'm genuinely having to casually make a quick dictionary as we go. Um, Or it's gonna end up being like a verb, so to split is ladana, and then derivative ladina is a splitting. Oh my Jesus Christ, okay. So that's a verb. Um. 
Thank you, Pandering. I like this music too. You can check it out if you want. It is a pretty cool playlist. Not gonna lie. Big fan of it. Um, I'm actually listening to it on Spotify and you can listen along. I do have it connected to my Discord. Uh, off you go then, yeah. Uh, we're kind of doing that already. Lilna is to split, which is the verb, which changing to this derivative because it's splitting, it's Lilna. Okay. Okay? Okay. Are we gonna end up making verb rules as well? Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay, right, no. For now, places. Think of places, then we'll deal with verb rules afterwards. Um, <laughs> here we have a city in a forest next to the lake and river. Although this is a much smaller, more of a stream, really. Well, it is technically a river, but it's, it's much, much, much smaller than the uh, Rajka uh, Siri, which I've put there. Beverly. Which I've typed differently in two different places. To confuse myself. Right, okay. God, people are gonna get so confused. They're gonna be like, why are all of these ones hyphenated and these ones aren't? Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, right, let's just go with one away from a river. This one, just in the middle of a forest, closest to the Great Divide. And this one's also a smaller, smaller town. That's fine effect, we'll see in a bit. <laughs> Um, so this one, I think, in a forest, we could... Uh, for some reason, I can't view the playlist. What's it called? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it is called... It's literally called Copyright Free... Put it up. Uh, Copyright Free Medieval. It's by Anne F.O. A-N-N-E-F-O. I can actually probably share this playlist, can't I? Um, there we go. Why are those high plated mothers not pay there, Andy? How you doing? Um, <laughs> are you asking genuinely? Because I can genuinely tell you. Um, you are making a language. It's fun. Also, nice to see you, and thank you for dropping by. Um, okay. Name for forested. No, just jumped on it as I s <laughs> as you said. <laughs> okay, so basically, if it's by a river, it's hyphenated. If it's not by a river, it's not hyphenated. It's a river rule. <laughs> just gonna ask. Okay, yeah, so it's a river rule. So, Oro Tanaj is gonna- uh, sorry, Orod Tanaj is gonna be- is by a river, so it's hyphenated. Uh, Ledna Knopo uh, is by a river, so it's hyphenated. Um, Etc. Oh, milk. Okay, milk. You've caps locked your idea. Go. You, you're, you have the floor. The floor is yours. What's your idea, buddy? While I sip some water. Everyone stay hydrated. This is when milk takes three hours to type a paragraph. And I will find that very funny. Ooh, Endless Sands is good for a Great Divide place, maybe? Coffee does not technically count, but you know what, Andy? I'll let you off. Endless Sands is actually a really good name for... Oh, okay. Right, Endless Sands is... Uh, this is uh, Great Divide shit. Maybe ages ago, some settlements were on a riverbank and have hyphenated names, but over the years, the rivers dried up, and now you have hyphenated names 
nowhere near a river. We do some lore on why the river's dried up, like magic and shit. I mean, to be fair, this is desert below. Creeping desert that was caused by the Great Divide when the gods attempted to scar the earth, to tame the slumbering god that is the earth. Uh, Sumi uh, Tarak is the name so that the earth is given. Um, that great divide, that scarring, left a stretch of desert across the whole world, right? Across Sumi's back, right? Um, so that's, that's one thing we did talk about. So it could be that maybe we have, like, a settlement, like, down here somewhere that used to be beside water, that now is abandoned. It could even be- it could even be ruins. We could have some ruined stuff down here, where the fear of the Great Divide left whole cities abandoned, as the sand slowly crept across the Alovo and Empire's border. That could be really fun, Milk. And that could- like you said, it could be a hyphenated name. It could have been by water and now... nothing. In fact, I really like that. I'm gonna get some ruins. Let's have a look for ruin. So what do we want to call this one? If this one used to have a, the river maybe splitting off and running by it here, and now that's obviously dried up. Or even, we could do, because we did also discuss, when we were discussing the Great Divide, that some of the rivers had turned into just rivers of quicksand. So it's no longer, um, like it's still dangerous, it's still there, but now is something far more dangerous almost. So if we just... Subtract something that's small. Oh, is that the smallest? How did I get this to go small? Oh, by doing this. Okay. I kind of would like to see a forgotten people that somehow managed to survive the divide that no one knows where they are or if they're really there. Like a myth or legend, only whispers and rumors and sightings of them. Like a traveling creature, culture beyond endlessly moved through the sands to survive. Yes, 100%. We, that was something we vaguely mentioned we might do way back when. Um, and it is something that I'm still pretty positive I want to, to include. Um, for, for nothing else, as like you said, it's it's something that would be really interesting to have as a concept. Um, and it would be a really fun, I feel like, a, like a species to play. I'm just gonna rehash this a little bit. Sands come in, and then we it's on this side of the Um. So that's why I'm saying for, like, the Endless Sands, I feel like could be a settlement name in that region. Um, because I think that would be really cool. I'm gonna slowly reduce the opacity on that too. And then we'll add this in again. Sorry, I'm having to do this like very weirdly. 
Do excuse me, this is very intricate, but I... And we have the Quick Sand River. Floating down. Then I can actually see a line easier. This is where things get really like picky and finicky. I do apologize, guys. I was gonna come for And dispers into quicksand. Okay. Traveling caravan people. Basically, Khajiit, I got you. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. Um, okay, I'm thinking then if we had a road then that would connect this forgotten town. Some people in Star Wars go, oh yeah, fair enough. Um, okay, so yeah, so this would be a hyphenated name place then, based on our previous language law. But it would now be the ruins of. Perhaps even, like you said, a forgotten land of some description. And what would that have meant in the tongue? What would it have been before it became the ruins in a sand wasteland that had been creeping slowly before being stopped by the elves, the uh, Wild Heart Concord? So I like Kalador as a first, first word. And it'd be hyphenated, so it'd be something something. And then again, what would that name have meant in the time? Yeah, probably like lush green grassland, like the similar above here. Probably good farming land, hills maybe. And now it's nothing. Abandoned on fear of the sand. So we, we, the convention we've chosen for this region is that each city's name means something to do with the place it is. In other areas, it won't be the case. Like in, um, for example, in the Kamarian conglomerate, the convention we chose was all stuff to do with ships. Healthy harvest. Ooh, I like that. So what? So is this word fair? Healthy or harvest? Calador could be. Yeah, I feel like harvest as well. So what then is healthy? I like that, Solista. Um, where we're at is we've decided that some of the cities in this sand area effect were abandoned in the Great Divide and are thus now ruins of what they once were. So this used to be on a riverbank, hence the hyphenated name, but now is by a quicksand river, which is something we decided would be a feature of the region that is the Great Divide. So as the sand came in before the Azra and, well, all the druids in the Wild Heart Concord. Can I put a second A in it? 
So what you want? You want Kaldor? Mister Tagdor. Yeah, that sounds better. You're right. Um. <laughs> um. So there's gonna be some ruins. This one being known as Healthy Harvest. Well, yeah, basically as the sands rolled in, people got scared and they moved. They wanted to leave the region in fear of what the sands would bring with them when the earth was scarred. Well, it says me was scarred. I suppose I should stay, given the earth is a slumbering god being. Great place to dry up, name-wise. Unfortunate place to dry up, name-wise, sorry, yeah. Yeah, right, Lister Caldor. Uh, it's such a it's such a tongue twister of a name. Uh, it sounds good, though. Um, okay. But yes, milk, I love that. The fact that some of these areas used to be by rivers, and now they're not. But they still have the naming convention. Oh, the ruin? Um, you're thinking of... Oh, that's not full. Shit. Um, oh my god, why is my brain not working? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I know this, I know this, and no one fucking said I know this. It begins with an O. Oh my god, Argath? Argath, right? The ruins um, near Minas Tirith, before the defense of Minas Tirith. That Frodo and Sam stumble their way through. Oh, it's Gilead. Oh my god, I was so close. Thank you, Milk. Oh my god. Okay, so we still have a few other places to name. Today's just about naming and creating a language, apparently. That's fun. Um, <laughs> Does that have a river uh, with it? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay, so what about... Where can we go next? Where should we go next? That's the question. Working on those audio recordings, put Pro Tools as a bitch. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it, Milk. Um... This one's dried up. Yeah, this river's just a dried up quicksand river. Quicksand is dangerous too. We're gonna have fun with that. What about this forested town then? Which is days and days away from the, uh, the sand. What, like a secluded town on the other side of the mountains, on the coast? Why not? Let's do it. So how would you get to this town? Through the mountains itself? Small mountain path, only wide enough for a small path. Oh, I like that. We'll need a name for that pass then as well, at some point.
This is where the finicky parts of a map really make themselves known. Secret tunnel. Um, <laughs> um, maybe it was once a large uh, must grave and then a tree grew over showing life. Continues even in death and that's what's left of the secluded dusk elven society whose religious zealots practice necrotic magic. I'm sorry, what? Oh, breathe. Rewind, ashen past. Ooh, ashen past I like. Um, I like that as a temple idea effect. It can be like a temple that they have somewhere out here. Oh, I really like that as a temple idea actually. So let's, let's get a temple. Put a temple out in the woods somewhere. like put you there um we'll move you up some lights too So we know that this is a temple. We'll come back and name it in a moment. Now we have some more places to name. It's a seclusion. Okay, cool. So we need names for those eventually. We'll come to them in a minute. Small valley for that temple to sit in. Yeah, I think it's a good show. Well, a small clearing at least, yeah. Okay, let's put some ideas down on paper. So we have the temple in the woods. We'll come up with a name in a minute. Um, If I see the Dusk Elves collectively being very magic people, almost like their whole culture revolves around it. Pretty much like Hogwarts, but the whole continent being Hogwarts. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, the mountain temple. Oh no, this, this mountain temple sat on a waterfall, so that's fun. Um, mountain pass called the goblin pass because you have to be small and reckless to take the journey through i actually kind of like that that's that's quite funny i quite like that um but also like lead to the fact that no one wants to fucking be there um or well, maybe that's the common tongue for it so <laughs> maybe the elvish was like slightly more fluid about it
Hello death for the one that's in the clearing. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Sounds great effect. Um, so we want to call it Ragath. Remember, hyphens are for villages. We're not going with that one. It's not by a river. So Ragathiska. Like that. This. Uh, not temple death. Oh, ghost, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck's sake, ghost, yes. Very good. I can't read. It's because your names are both red. Can one of you change, please, the color? My eyes just glance over, see the color, and go from there. Everyone else has chosen something different. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll forgive you. Uh, just here for the vibes. Yeah, you are. Also very creative, and if you did want to join in, you're welcome to, babe. Um, Ragathiska. Okay, so Ragathiska is a masquerade temple. <laughs> it means hallowed death. Oi, my name is bigger though. Yeah, I don't see that. On a completely related note, I'm getting Uber Eats. Anyone? Anyway. <laughs> Milk, send me some. Um, so Ragathiska lies here. Though. I said this is when finicky fucking maps come and play. So Ragathiska lies there, that's fine. Save me need to at some point have a sit down and go over shit because there are so many notes in the documents. Yeah, I know there are. Um, we do. We really do. Um, they haven't actually eaten yet. Oops. It's not about D&D, &D, babe. It's about uh, world building. This is None of this is fucking D&D &D related. This is all world building related, but we're making it world building so it is an environment you could host a D&D &D game in. And we are making some D&D &D based content notes and things like that purely to try and make people happy. So please don't think about that. It is not D&D. &D. It is fundamental world building. And story building. Being messaged, is there any message work related? No, that was actually my boss asking how I was. I can't be mad at him for that. That was very sweet. Uh, because I've not been well, lol. Um, <clears throat> how about we name existing places and focus on that? Yeah, can we? Uh, Ike cannot recall the place locations. Yes. Um, 
There's a lot of place locations. Okay, we're going to here. We're looking at these these places. We still have four towns and a secluded village to name. Um, so what about this forest location? Again, the name naming conventions are important, Henry. This is one thing I will give advice for in terms of world building. Once you've chosen a convention for an area, sticking to it is important. Otherwise, it will cause a continuity break, which is very difficult for players to wrap their heads around in a believable manner. Um, it's something you want to stick with in everything. Continuity is one of your most important things in world building. Otherwise, the environment you make is very unbelievable and people won't connect to it or relate to it when they're playing in that setting. So the naming convention again for here is that each of them are named after something to do with where they are or what they do. So for the example, the mountain shield is act as a buffer between the border between the border of the dusk veil of the dawn veil and the mountain Nochni Bedum, which is a point of contention between the two races. Well, the sub races, I suppose. The Knight's Bastion, similar thing, is this acts as a place, as a defensive point, as well as the home of their religion, the protector of their religion. This would have been accurate in the day that the city was made. Obviously no longer accurate since... <laughs> since, uh, sorry, my boss just said go back to sleep, barred from gaming. I'm not even gaming right now, you asshole. No, I'm joking, he's great. Um, yeah, so this one would have been a con naming convention that would have made sense when it was a grassland, but obviously the Great Divide and the scarring of the Earth has led to this being a desert and deserted. So now we have a few other locations we have to name. Uh, this place being the Splitting River, um, or River Bank in this case. Again, naming conventions, we have added derivatives, <laughs> because that gets confusing. And we've created half a language, which makes it even more confusing at that. Also, this music is so chill. Um, like this is like really chilling me out. And my voice is going a little bit, so it won't be too much longer now, I'm afraid, guys. Um, but, Forested City, on the way to the secluded past, or Goblin Pass, as we're calling it. What do we want this to be called? In the middle of a fairly luscious, I'd imagine, forest, though with the desert slowly creeping in on the southern border. Anyone have any ideas? Again, come up with the English first can sometimes help a lot when you're dealing with fantasy languages. Then translating it in the after effect into something that sounds more to do with the language that you are creating. I would never recommend, I think unless you're effect, because effect is like a god at it or something, going straight into a language fully. Developing things piece by piece is very good. Uh, the forest can be called sunset side since the forest is so dense you can only really see the sun between the trees during sunset. Would also fit with it being the dusk elves. So again, what would we like the elvish to be known as for that? So there you go, you've, you've given yourself to what is sunset to the elves. Or would we use that as a derivative of dusk? So, something Sumrak. Given that Sumrak is dusk, sunset being a derivative. Oh, Jesus Christ. Effect. Yep. 
Well, that makes sense for this forest, because this is necrotic as shit, as we've just established. Okay, so we have two different forests. We have something that's a derivative of sunset, which is a derivative of dusk, therefore something sumrak, sumrak something. But things get very complicated. Um, so this needs to be spaced, it needs to be larger. That is Sumrak at dusk. Anyway. Um, and then, so Sumrak insert there. So we need a something something to mean either forest or side or something there. Andy, feel free to jump in. Um, what you want the translation to be. I'm thinking derivatives would be easier than anything else. And then up here in this necrotic forest, because this forest is creepy as hell and kind of necrotic and weird, we're going to have a different name entirely. And this one is going to be called Risia Dep. What does that mean, Elvish? In Elvish. Setting start. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, thanks. Oh, yeah. Wait, you are combining ideas so much here. Okay, so. Resia. Okay, so Resia is a. Uh, okay, this is where. Yeah, very complicated. Resia is going to be a verb. Or Resia is going to be a verb. And that changes because this is too. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This is to set the verb, which is then de oh, okay. So then we have resia dep, and dep is star. Um. Dep star, okay, okay, Dep is star, this is, gets, this is getting so confusing, which is, and you want this, this is a necrotic, creepy forry, forest, okay. Hey Clive, long time no see. Some right ghast ghast meaning side for the yellow forest name. Yes. But ghast is side in reference to direction. Not side in reference to what side you're on, as in intention. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna get so confusing. Um, side is in direction, not side is in intention or or leaning um, or belief, <laughs> which will have to have a different name at some point, I guess. Um, that's Russia Dep, and then the Sumrak Gust uh, Forest. South of the of of Sumrak. Uh, this is where things get even more confusing. Uh, Sumrak. Uh, 
from. And yeah, I agree. You know what? It gives him some nice, uh, yeah. Um, Lilith Ratenka. Yeah, Sebastian. I like that as a name for a town. And yes, right, we're catching up a little bit now. We're going faster. Um, well, Bastion, we already have a name for Bastion. It's Grad. So it'll be Dilith Grad. Because Bastion is already part of the name of the capital, which is Nochli Grad. Um, this is Dilith. Okay, cool. That's fine, though. So Delith is what they call the sea. Good, good. We are getting there. <laughs> mm. I say this is probably quite a small include a coastal town. Okay, cool. And then Dell is to see the verb. Okay, yeah, because that is not going to confuse things. Dell uh, equals to see verb. <laughs> We are going into linguistics. Um, <laughs> this is, we're literally making a language from a bunch of bullshit words. Anyway, so. We really have to set to see to split. We have. Gast meaning side is in direction, not side is in side of, uh, not side as in what side are you on as in connotation of idealistic belief. Um, that's fine. So that's another town named. Good job. We still have the forest town. This two are two towns here in the Sumrak Gast. And we have um, one town within the Resia Dep and one town on the edge of the Resia Dep by a lake. The lakes will also probably need names. Also, what, what's the word for lake? We haven't come up with a name for lake, and we need to change the Solace Lake to be in the Elvish tongue. Solace is obviously... Wait, I think we said Solace is sun. That's another part of the language we need to add, because that's something we named ages ago. Gast means side, as in direction. is in the side of something rather than uh, what side are you on? Idealistically, politically, whatever. Side is in implication of belief. This is where she gets, she gets real complicated in linguistics real fast. Um... Okay, so we have a few more towns left. We also have obviously the ruins of Fisla uh, Kaldor, which is of uh, healthy harvest, which is ironic because it's now in a desert. The irony is not lost. We are literally making a whole language on me because making custom races wasn't enough. Solace. Yellows. Sun eye for one of the places in the forest. Ooh, I like that. I think I. Mm. Ooh, sun eye sounds like a more Lun though name, like a king, like a like a like a dawn elven name than a dusk elven name. So I'm gonna add that down here in dawn elf. Yeah. 
But I do like uh, Yalus meaning I. Yes. Yaren isn't lost, but the harvest is. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> That's a good one, Eddie. Uh, never believed that chiropractors could solve back forms two weeks later. I stand corrected. That's funny. Um, I. Okay. Seen side of the lake. Oh, effect. Effect, you're killing me with derivatives. Okay. So that's, this is the... Delgast Jezvo, Jezovo is seen side of the lake, being Jezovo, Del equals C, Gast equals side, so the town is located at the side of the lake. Okay! <laughs> And then the lake is called Jizovo. But what then? What what is Jizovo then? Why was it named such? I guess is my question. And again, we need a word for lake. Oh, Jezova meaning lake. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. So Jezova means lake. So this is something Jezova, for one. Solace, lake would be Jezova. Uh, that'd be the, the sun lake. Um, And so, um, Delgas Jezovo, which, uh, derivative scene side lake. Lake. Uh, yeah, I have to refund that. Um, please, I am ill. I can't, I can't do. Yeah, uh, I, I, my voice is dead, I can't do that. It would actually really damage my voice and it's already been hurting. Speaking hurts already. Um, yeah, Milk, if you could maybe do in the mod tools and just refund it. On the Twitch page, that'd be great. Feels affects mine. Yeah, let's not have you in more pain. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Uh, I would love affects mine. Do you know how much I would love it? Um, so what are we calling this lake then? Obviously, Jezovo being the name for a lake. Elgas Jezovo, seen side of the lake. God, this is just language. Language is fun. Don't you guys agree? Language is great. Oh, thank you, Monk. <clears throat> um. Hmm. We're not calling the lake a puddle. A puddle is already a thing. <laughs> the reason this is called Sun Lake is it is the it's splits the dusk moor and the dawn veil. And the sun and light being the actionable, well, the fighting, the thing that most of them are fighting over. Makes sense.
In fact, we're gonna have to make a dictionary on the website. I hope you know this now, and we're gonna have to voice all of these fucking words so people know how to say them. Um, <laughs> that's, that'll be something we gotta do coming up. Milk, get ready to audio engineer the hell out of all of that shit. <laughs> I feel like little sun's a bit obvious. Also, this is the dusk, right? They prefer no sun. It, the sun is not something they worship. The moon and the night is. And makes it a bit confusing. So I have towns to enable. This is the largest town within the rest of your depth. There's the necrotic forest, and is the starting point of the path to Ragathiska. So if anyone has any ideas of what that town might be called, please do throw them my way. Not literally. I will not catch them. I am terrible at catching. Hand-eye coordination's not there. But yes, any names for the town, please do throw them at me. In chat. Uh, Deathly Dusk. Oh my god, that, that's such a long. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's. See, it sounds good. Wait, but if death is. Iska. Would Deathly not be a derivative of Iska? So would it not be... What well, death, death is Iska. Iska is death. But then what would to die be? And would death not be a derivative? Yeah. So it could be Jezovo Iska Sumrak. Or again, unless to die is something different. Is Scala is deathly. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright. So this is probably where we start seeing our verbal rules for adding LY. <clears throat> Wonderful. So in that case, we're looking at Jezova Iskala Sum Iskar is to die, yeah. So then, death, past tense, would become Iska. This <laughs> is so confusing. We're gonna have to go through all this later. Um, uh, sorry, Sumra. We'll just call it Iskala Sumrak. It's fine. It makes sense to me. Um, and then Iska was to die. Verb. Uh, good job, Milk. So, verb rules. So, something AR equals the root verb, yeah? So, that's two, whatever. So, something hyphen A would then become the past participle. And something L adding ALA equals LY. Which might mean we need to go through some of these. So to set is Russia. 
setting, what would ING be? What would an ING edition be? So this would be the present, uh, present tense action, which in brackets is ING. Most of them seem to have an A starting point, so we go A, just AL being ing then. ALA being IY, AL being IG. <laughs> if someone could look up the grammatical title of the rule for adding LY to a verb. Not even, it's not even L-Y to a verb, it's just L-Y to a rule. Like, death and to die are two different things, right? But to die is a partition of... So that's just, that's, that's, so L-Y isn't actually a thing. A-V-I-ing? A-V-I sounds good for an A. Avi. So A-R is the root verb, A is past participle, where A-V-I is present tense action, aka I-N-G. This is getting confusing as fuck. Um, so in that case, we need to change some of these. So Rossi Adep being... Rossi Adep is setting. So it's actually Rossi... Rossi Avi Adep would be setting. No, it is pronounceable. Uh, pronounceable. Uh, okay, so Rossi <laughs> Del is to see. So to see the side of the lake, that's fine. That's still a derivative. Del gas to Chizovo. That's fine. Um, A E L E D. I don't think ED is necessary in a verb, though. Let's get up verb rules. Um, let's let's use uh, French verb rules. Uh, conjugation. Just don't worry about it. We're going to use this as a way of us figuring it out. Um, so if I go into one of these, they have present in and future. I remember. Okay. It's been a while since I've done French, but this gives me an idea of what we're going with. Okay, so. I want past, present, future. Okay, cool. Present. Fuck me, language is hard. Let's just go verb conjugation. In general, uh, AEL is that it has two rules at a certain letter placing things, you have a silent A or E. BBC bite size, we love BBC bite size. Um, am, I, is, is, are, are, no. It's not conjugating, I'm thinking words themselves. You know what, it's fine. We root of the verb to past participle, present tense action. We're just gonna stick with these. Um, but you don't add ed though to a verb in general. So if, if it's running, if something is running, it's avi, for example. If something is has ran, it's a. If something is, if someone is saying to run, it's ar. You have run, or you have ran, that'd be past tense again, past participle A. Anyway, point is, it's fine. This makes sense for now. Um, effect, can you dumb that down? I don't know what you mean. Um, so, uh, saying A-E-L in, like, spoken English, you would have to either silence the A or the E in conjunction with the word. So, say it was Iska, which I was changing. Iskale was very hard to say, so it'd be Iskal or Iskel. Um, basically, depending on what your word is, what letter this is, depends on whether you can pronounce the A or the E. That's how language works. Anyway, we're going to ignore this for now. Um, the fuck is that fucking river called again? But we even aimed so confusingly. 
Uh, Iskala, so, well, yeah, the thing that started this whole conversation. I says back in the day where you were meant to read, but you didn't. You used to say you were reading and would just play games. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> you get accurate. Okay, so we have these things. So then, Iskala Sumrak. Um, which would be ALA, we said. Is Scarlet's deathly death deathly L Y on a word does have a thing as well. Not a verb though. Uh, shoot, that's fine. So that's the deathly dusk. What about a scholar solus deathly sun? Given that they despise the sun. Um, two vowels. Vowels are dominant, so you can't mutually pronounce both vowels back to back alike. For example, AE, which is why letters like AE combined used to exist. Yes, that is correct. Language is fun. So we're saying that that's derivative of that. This we're going to solid. Yes, kind of similar to Old English, when you're looking at language rules like that. Okay, I need to end the stream soon because my voice is slowly starting to go, but I have three more towns that we need to name. So let's try and focus on that and get those done before I, I die. That'd be great. I go play seas with, with milk, but I'm going to be talking. Um, so... They, uh, they, they are the followers and creations of the god of dusk, which means that they're, they're basically gingers. Yeah, they hate the sun. Um, <laughs> and believe that death is not the end and that things are come and go and that all that kind of stuff. Basically, they're very chilled out people. We maybe get a little bit too into necrotic shit. We'll talk about that next episode. Um, so this is the fall of dusk. We're, we're talking about dusk elves. So town names. Let's go, people. Let's try and think of some before I end stream. Um, before I pass out or something. I don't know. I should probably eat some food too. Um, we have this one in the middle of the necrotic, creepy forest. What do we want to name this town? Remembering that our naming conventions for this specific area of the, <laughs> of the world, if I don't cough, are uh, based on where the place is. It's also at a fork in the river, so perhaps you can do something with that. And is the only path starting location to Ragathiska, the temple. You mean Gloom Grove or Gloom Groove? This is just to clarify. Because they are gloomy lads. Gloom would work, to be fair. Gloom is a great start, but what would Gloom then be? In language in elvish whatever the fuck we're making river is regik i believe rejek right 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 reka reka is river reka i think i'm pronouncing that right liquid fork <laughs> liquid fork
again, a reminder that me and Effects will be making voice notes on every single one of these, and they'll be accessible on the website when these words go up, just so you guys know how to pronounce them, and don't get scared and never involving it in your campaign, if you do indeed set one in this area. I feel really bad my Uber Eats is on a bike and I live at the top of a steep hill. Oof. Zara? Oh, this is, this is getting... I feel like Jazara is maybe like river or something. Oh no, because we got river already. Oh yeah, no, Jazara is a is a thing I can do. Oh, Feleth means gloom. Oh, I love that. Sorry, Milk. I love that one. So Feleth is gloom. So well, we could even call it something about surviving. I feel like surviving in this area is not going to be easy. So Gloom Survivors, maybe? Being the name of the town? Well, again, Shield of Gloom. Meaning protection from. We already have a word for shield. So it would be Tenage Felith, being Shield of Gloom. And it would be hyphenated as it is next to a river. Undead gloom. Oh my god. Nesky. Yes. Yes. Effect. Yes. 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 Undead gloom. Oh, that is brilliant. I love that. Gloom's oh, just So many of these are great. I love undead gloom though so much. Okay, so we'll go with that then. Oh, hyphenated because it's by a river. Okay, we have more towns to go. We've got two more to go. One is by a river here in the Sumrak Gust. South of uh, Ledna Kost... Ledna... This speaking is hard. Ledna Gnofo. We'll figure out how to say that later. Um, cool. Oh, let me select it. Right. Un equals net. Oh, if something is un something, it's net. Oh, Jesus, this is more. We're just going to put grammar rules. Grammar rules. Un equals, uh, sorry, no. Nah. Un, cool. Oi, oi, look up. Hyphens for what again? Continued river. Yes. So what is then to continue? Okay, we've got, we've got a, uh, so continued is technically past tense, is it not? Obiwatola would be the to continue. Yeah, you will be recording them effect. Um, so if Watala is to continue, The derivative, if we were saying continued, continued implies continued from past. That is an E for ED, but no, but it's technically past tense, right?
It is a past participle, right? So it would be um watola Rekka. Jeka. Dolarika. Sorry, the fact that isn't capitalized is pissing me off. Um Cannot run around a campsite as it's past tense. Oh man, I like that. That's very good. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that though. And we have one more town to name, guys. One more town as the music gets a little bit more. I don't know. Cool. Uh, it does sound a little African. Um, and then we have one more town in the forest here, in the Sumrakas. Being the sunset side, or sunset, or dusk side. Forest where the sun is only visible in some times of day. What are we calling this one? This music is like hyping me up for the end of the stream. I don't know what's up with that. I got all the names in here as well. We've been talking a lot about a lot of stuff. Yeah, I do. Okay, we're good. As participles, we got verbs, we got all sorts of shit. This is getting very confusing. Real Stike's shadow? I like that, yeah. You can't see cues? I can. But it might even be more of a silent thing, like Wilster. Every language has silent letters. We all know it. Secret Santa. Um, no. <laughs> Don't say that. Hidden dusk. Oh, I love that. So what is to hide and then what is hidden? Um, equals to hide. To hide, I feel like, is something that would come up a lot in this language. Could be a k sound. Yeah, it could be. Kulista. Yeah, I like that. Um, anyway, what are we going to say to hide is? Drop. Okay, so that'd be drop as in distance between heights, not drop as in to drop. So Clivia, okay, I like that. Cliva is to hide. So Cliv A with an A, just with an A. Or Mer uh, ooh, Merith is in hide. Merith is in hide. Yes, but it would be Merith R A R if it was a verb. Then it would be. Oh my god, okay, right, okay. So if it was that, it'd be Merith R, which would then be Merith A, just with an A. R, R and A, uh, two different sounds. So if we did hidden dusk, it would be Merith R, Shumrak. Yes, am I correct? Merith, grammar rules, man. Grammar 
grammar rules are fun. Uh, so we'll go with Marathon from Rack, which is small town. This is more like how to melt Saints Brain 101. Basically made an old English and Slavic love child language. Yeah, we have. And like you go to for this in person. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it would be Marathas Sumrak, which would be a small town on the road to Delagrad in the Sumrak Gast. Okay, cool. We're getting there. This has been one hell of an episode. Jesus. Um, Maritha Sumrak. And that, guys, is where we're going to end today, because I have other things to do. Also, this has been a two-hour stream already. Also, we've done a lot of language rules. So, over the next few episodes, we still have a lot to do in this area, to be fair. We still need to talk more about the society itself, talk more about people and places within this society that are important to the culture. And um, we should probably go into a little bit more depth on language, as much as we might hate it. I think us developing it naturally might help. Um... As we do flip over sooner, probably not next episode, but the episode after, we'll be heading into the Dawn Vale. When we do that, we'll be coming up with a hell of a lot of new words that we're going to be needing to add to a dictionary from the Dawn side of things with the Kingdom of Loon. So with that said, thank you very much for joining us, guys. And yes, pretentious pricks, of course, we make grammar with elves. Yeah, we do. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next episode which will be next Wednesday, 8 p.m. British Standard, well, British Standard Time, or is, we're in British Standard Time, I think, right now. BS2, GMT, whatever it is, British Time, 8 p.m. And yes, don't go anywhere. Come back in literally five minutes. Milk is going to be bringing up a Sea of Thieves stream. I will be joining him, but I will be speaking a lot less um, to give my voice a little bit of a rest. But thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.